Hello everyone, how are you today? I am Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. Welcome back. Guys, we have already made a video on glutamine and we have cleared that why you don't need a supplement for glutamine. But glutamine is very important for your body and it has vital roles in your immune system, your muscle uh, regeneration, your muscle recovery, etc, etc. And why and how it works has already been explained in the glutamine video. If you haven't watched that, then watch that first. It's like in the science of supplement season 2 episode 5 or 6, right? It's near the BCAA video. Today we are going to talk about how can you take glutamine in diet? What are the top 5 sources of glutamine in your natural vegetarian or non-vegetarian diet so right now we are talking about diet you can choose the uh, sources and I'm, I'm going to talk about the percentage of proteins of that glutamine which is present in those diets right so according to ifct indian food composition tables 2017 right which has been issued by the indian government and it has been uh, it's online you can download and refer yourself now we are talking about glutamine now remember each food product has a certain amount of protein in it and out of that protein some of the protein is some of the amino acids are basically glutamine so that's how you have to see this right so according to these number one substance which you can eat to increase your internal glutamine glutamine intake is fish yes fish fish has proteins and out of those proteins 15 percent of the proteins are glutamine 15 percent of the protein in the fish is glutamine right so because fish contain a high amount of protein as compared to vegetables or milk that's why fish is the number one source of glutamine but if you don't take fish then don't worry because if you compare this with other non-vegetarian sources like chicken or meat or egg for that matter then out of the proteins which are present in eggs out of the whatever uh, protein present in the chicken or meat only one to two percent is glutamine so in that way fish is far better in uh, taking up glutamine as compared to other non-vegetarian food then the second best food after fish is milk yes second best is milk why because out of the proteins present in milk or milk products milk or cheese or dahi butter chicken butter nahi do you do dahi butter uh, paneer cheese cheese basically that's what we call it in india and paneer right so uh, all the milk product they have 16 to 20 percent of their protein as glutamine so that is also a good number right so milk is the second source the third big source is plant protein yes plant protein like first third big source are lentils your uh, lentils your dal all the lentils right all the lentils we have already seen you can check out that lentils on an average have around 15 to 20 percent some some have 14 percent of proteins in that 100 grams of lentils any lentils out of that 15 percent out of that small protein which they have 14 15 percent out of that 15 to 22 percent is glutamine so lentils are also good right 15 to 22 basically 22 percent is uh, but the 15 to 22 percent and then if we talk about the fourth source fourth is your grains your food grains right like your wheat your java your bajra ragi rice whatever all these things they also have some amount of protein now they have less than 10 grams of protein per 100 gram less than 10 percent of protein and seven percent eight percent and out of these seven eight ten percent they also have around 20 percent of glutamine right so Although wheat and other people things have 5% more glutamine in their uh, composition but they have the total amount of protein is less. That's why fish is better. That's why milk is better. That's why uh, your uh, lentils are little better. Then this is, this is the fourth thing. Fish. We have first is fish. Then milk. Then lentils. Then you have uh, uh, whatever we call as uh, your grains. 
and the fifth best source is actually then it comes to non vegetarian stuff your chicken meat and egg this is the fifth source so these are five big sources and then comes vegetables vegetables also have around 15% of uh, their proteins as glutamine but vegetables already have a very less amount of proteins that's why they are not the best source so if you want to take glutamine in your diet and you are non vegetarian do take fish regularly at least 250 grams per week or every day also you can take that or you can go for milk you can go for proper vegetarian diet also dal chawal dal roti whatever you want to have right that is important to have your glutamine sources stores and then the other source is your vegetables and your chicken meat egg right this is all about the natural sources of glutamine all you need is just 0.3 grams per kg per day of glutamine 0.3 grams per kg per day of glutamine so if you are basically completing your proteins right if you are basically taking like 1 or 1.2 gram per kg per day 1.2 gram per kg per day out of them if you are concentrating on any of these things 0.3 gram per kg will already get fulfilled so you don't need any supplement so this is why glutamine is not required to spend money on i hope this video was useful i hope uh, uh, you will enjoy uh, further videos and do let me know whatever you want me to cover next this is dr paramjit you are watching dr education stay connected and stay healthy